Readings for the day, 2022, on Sunday, July 31st. The readings from the regular cycle, the epistle, seventh Sunday. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Brethren, we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to edify him. For Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of those who reproached thee fell on me. For whatever whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that by steadfastness and by the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Christ Jesus, that together you may with one joyce glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, therefore, as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. The Gospel, Seventh Sunday of Matthew. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, as Jesus passed on from there, two blind men followed him, crying aloud, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it done to you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus sternly charged them, See that no one knows it. But they went away and spread his fame through all that district as they were going away. Behold, a dumb demoniac was brought to him, and when the demon was cast out, the dumb man spoke, and the crowds marveled, saying, Never was anything like this seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He casts out demons by the prince of demons. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. (laughs) The reading for the commemoration, the epistle for the saint, The reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans. Brethren, all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is the Spirit himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ. Provide we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. I consider that the sufferings of the present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of him who subjected it in hope, because the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and obtain the glorious liberty of the children of God. The Gospel for the Saints The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a vessel, but puts it under... The Lord said, No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a vessel, but or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand, that those who enter may see the light. For nothing is hid that shall not be made manifest, nor anything secret that shall not be known and come to light. Take heed that how you hear, for to him who has will more be given. For to him who has more will be given, 
and from him who has not, even what he thinks that he has will be taken away. Then his mother and his brothers came to him, but they could not reach him for for the crowd, and he was told, Your mother and your brothers are standing outside desiring to see you. But he said to them, My mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and do it. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synexarion. Synexarion from the Menaion. On July 31st, we commemorate St. Evdokimos the Righteous. On this day, St. Joseph of Arimathea, who, who buried Christ the Master, reposed in peace. On this day, Twelve holy martyrs of Rome died by the sword. On this day we commemorate the consecration of the venerable house of our most holy lady Theotokos, which is in which is in Blesharne, and where her holy shrine is located. Also, it is the forefeast of the precious and life giving cross, namely when it is brought out of the imperial palace into the city. By the intercessions of your saints, O God, have mercy on us. Amen.